Hey guys, Superhero Brothers here. Today I'm doing another video review on the Avengers Wave 2 Ant-Man and the Wasp, Ant-Man. So looking at the front of the packaging, you can see the Paul Red head sculpt. Um, that is one of the main reasons why I got this figure. Uh, you can see the Cole Obsidian Build-A-Figure leg. It says Ant-Man and the Wasp. Wasp. I'm very excited for this movie. I think it's going to be very cool. Um, it says Ant-Man, Hasbro. Uh, here's the side with Ant-Man. At first, I thought this was the old suit, but I guess it's not now that I look at it. Um, and then looking at the back, you can see the figure. And there's a little read-up if you want to read that. Just pause the video. And uh, there are all the other figures in this set. I am eventually down the line uh, planning on building this figure. Originally, I just wanted the Thor and the Ant-Man. Um, but now I kind of want the Wasp, and I also kind of want the Black Widow, and I think it would be cool to have a Malekith. Um, I don't really care to have a Black Knight, but to build the, the, uh, the uh, what do you call them, Cold Obsidian, um, I need to get all the figures and all that cool stuff. Um, there's Ant-Man on the side, and then there's the front. Let's get to it and crack this guy open. So this is the Ant-Man out of the packaging, and I gotta say, I absolutely love this figure. I've seen so many different video reviews on this one, and uh, there's a lot of mixed emotion about this figure. Um, you know, a lot of people say that they like it, a lot of people say it's good, they like the head sculpt, they like the figure, but I absolutely just love it. It is absolutely amazing, and I think it's Ant-Man that we have been waiting for. Um, I love this Paul Rudd head sculpt, especially because I'm a huge fan of the movie I Love You Man, um, so, and all of his movies pretty much. So it's pretty cool to get this head sculpt or whatever, uh, but I think this is a pretty awesome figure. Uh, but before we get into some detail and articulation with this figure, I'm going to show all the accessories he came with. So these are all the accessories. There's not a lot. Um, I'm not, you know, mad that there's not a lot. I actually, I don't like when the uh, figures come with a, a lot of accessories. I think it's kind of uh, annoying and they fall over the place and I just put them in a baggie. And I end up not using all of them pretty much. As I was saying, um, I'm not mad that there's not a lot of accessories. It only comes with three. Uh, because, you know, uh, I... I mean, it's cool that they're come with that most figures come with a lot of hands and heads and just the build a figure piece and all that blah blah blah. Um, but I find it kind of annoying because um, I'm if I'm going to display the figures, I'm not going to be periodically changing out the hands and heads and stuff. Um, so I'm kind of glad that this Ant Man only came with three pieces, pretty much. Um, but looking at this Paul Red head sculpt, oh perfect, it's focusing. Um, I think it looks great. Honestly, I really think it looks great. I think this is like the um, face scan technology or something like that. You can see the nice five o'clock shadow. I know somebody said something about a line right here. I don't really mind that. Um, and then looking at his line, his eyes right there, looking pretty cool. His eyebrows are a little bit faded, but you know, it's not bad. And then that is the perfect Paul Rudd smirk right there. That is just perfect, guys. And uh, I think just the way they got the chin down and the forehead, um, I think it's just, it looks identical to Paul Rudd. And also a lot of people are saying, oh, his, head's, his uh, forehead's way too big. It is not. It is definitely not. If you watch Paul Rudd movies, he has this big of a forehead. So people, you need to watch your movies. Um, and then, you know, just looking at his hair and that kind of stuff, I think it looks perfect. I love this Paul Rudd head scan. And then also we have the Ant-Man helmet right here. Initially, I thought that this was going to be a see-through plastic to where you can see his eyes, kind of like the wasp, but it turns out it's not, you know, I thought that it was, but um, I don't really mind, you know, I think it's cool when the superheroes have, you can't really see their faces or whatever, so I think it's cool that we have this, and then I heard uh, some reviewers talking about how this is kind of like pushed in, and that they're disappointed, but from the front, it actually looks really good, you know, I mean, it doesn't look that bad, you can see a little bit of marbling, but I don't really care. Um, but overall, the sculpting looks pretty nice. Got some nice red, and uh, the top, nice texture, and the back, looking pretty nice. I think in the future, what would be awesome is if instead of having separate head sculpts, you could just put on the helmet or something like that. I think that would just be great. Um, it could even come with like 
uh, one normal head sculpt and then one that could fit inside. And I think that would be great. That way you can like lift up the helmet or something like that. I think that would just be great, a cool thing to have. Um, and then here's the cool obsidian leg. And I gotta say this guy's probably really big when you build him. I know a lot of people, a lot of you collectors have built this figure. I can't wait to build the cool obsidian eventually down the line. Um, I'm not, you know, looking to buy all the figures right now, but uh, down the line, of course. Uh, but that's it, let's get into some more detail with the Ant-Man. So getting into some more detail with this Ant-Man figure, already we went through this head sculpt. And I gotta say, I think that this is a nice, uh, has a nice movement um, for the head. Usually it's kind of stiff with figures um, with the alternate heads. Um, but yeah, it has some nice movement to it. It's kind of loose, it's kind of good. Um, I enjoy it a lot, I think it's pretty good. Um, and then looking at the red on the suit, um, I like it a lot. It kind of reminds me of, of the Daredevil um, suit, sort of. I mean, it kind of has that same type of sculpting look to it. Um, most of you might not see it from uh, the figure, but I kind of do. Um, and looking down his arms, he's got these nice silver pieces right here. And if you have been looking at set photos for the Avengers 4 movie, um, you can see that there is a blue thing in here. Not on this figure, uh, but in the, on the set you can see the blue, uh, the blue things. And I'm assuming that's like a time traveling device or something. And then looking at the legs, there's some nice silver lining. I really like the silver on this figure, it looks really great. Um, there's some excess kind of paint right there. I don't know if that was originally supposed to be a line. Looks like it maybe, actually no, the line's like right here. So there is some excess paint right there, which kind of sucks, but whatever. Um, and then you can see the nice black paint. It's kind of like a dark, dark, dark blue. I mean, I don't know. It depends on the way you look at it. Like on camera, it kind of looks like a dark blue, but in person, it looks more of like a black. Um, but yeah. And then the boots looking pretty nice. I like the knee pads looking cool. And on the back, you got the nice red paint. It is kind of like, uh, yeah, there is some messed up paint right here. Um, kind of sucks. But, you know, I'm not that picky, so it doesn't really bother me that much. I'm just trying to review the figure. And then looking at the boots, looking pretty nice. And on the back of the figure, you got some great detail. I know that some figures sometimes, on other toy lines, the back of the figure isn't that great. Um, uh, but on this figure, it is very awesome. Uh, you got the black right here. And underneath, it's like red. And I think that's the way they painted that is actually really cool. And then you also get the uh, silver backpack type thing or whatever that is on the back and then you get the back of the belt and then butt and then you have the rest of the figure in the back uh, but that's pretty cool let's pop off this head and put on the ant-man head oh wow yeah that goes on really easy uh, let's get this up a little bit and i think <laughs> wow that is that is just a very cool looking ant-man guys I mean, when I first got the the other, the first Marvel Legends Ant-Man from the first Ant-Man movie, I was kind of disappointed because there was an open mouthpiece over here and it just kind of, it sucked to me, you know, to have um, the open mouthpiece, but I'll bring the Ant-Man real quick. So here's the Ant-Man. This is the first movie Ant-Man. I do have it. I got it like in, I think like 2015 or something like that, but you can see the major differences in how much it's improved on this figure compared to this one. I mean, look at that open mouth and look at the closed mouth. In the first movie, he had a closed mouth and I don't know why they gave him this weird mouth thing. Um, the only thing that I can think of is that they based this off of the Avengers Assemble TV show. He did have orange eyes in that show that were see-through and he did have an open mouth. Um, so that's the only thing I can think of, but overall this figure um, is pretty movie accurate. Um, just a little skinny, but you know, it's pretty cool. Um, there is some things that are better on this figure compared to this one. As uh, right here, you have some nice black shading in the gunmetal gray. Uh, where on here, it's a lot more clean and uh, just basic silver. Um, but there's a lot more detail on this one, I gotta say. Uh, I like this one a lot more, and that's why I got it. Um, but you can get him in some cool poses and stuff like that, you know, as if he's gonna turn small or whatever. Um, but, you know, the the joints are a lot more stiff compared to the other ones, which is good. Um, I like that a lot. Uh, the other problem I have with this figure, and I forgot to mention it when I was talking about the uh, the accessories, is that it didn't come with a smaller Ant-Man. And I think that would have been a lot cooler if we got a smaller Ant-Man. I don't know if that means that he's gonna turn big a lot of the time in the movie or whatever into Giant-Man, 
Um, but, you know, it's still an Ant-Man figure. We're still getting an Ant-Man figure, so uh, people need to stop complaining. And uh, we're getting an awesome, cool Ant-Man figure. And Hasbro's doing the best they can, and I think that they're doing some great work. And I absolutely love Marvel Legends. Um, I know that there's been a lot of, like, competition between Marvel Legends and, uh, like, SH Figure Arts and uh, Mezco and all those other toy brands and that kind of stuff. But, you know, I'm going to stick with Marvel Legends because it's the cheaper figure. And I think that, you know, you're getting, you're spending 20 bucks and you're getting a great amount of detail on these figures. Whereas SH Figure Arts, you're going to spend like 70 to 90 bucks on a figure this size. And yeah, it has a lot more detail, but comparing the prices, I think that this is a better way to go. You know what I mean? Um, Again, Paul Red head scan, looking great. I love this M-Man figure. I think it's just great. Now let's get into the articulation. The head goes up about, yep, all right. So the articulation might be different with uh, the Paul Red head scan. So let's try it on. Because this one, if you put it back that far, it's gonna pop off. So let's see if it's any better with the Paul Red head scan. Yeah, it's a lot better. And then looking down, and then you get a little bit of head pivot, and it looks up and down. I think I just said that. Um, and then the arms, very stiff go up about that far pretty nice you get a bicep swivel double jointed elbows you get a hinge at the wrist going up and down and a full 360 you get a nice ab crunch with that nice sound you get a nice waist swivel i think that sounds cool and then the legs go up about that far um, and they go back about that far and then double jointed knees looking pretty cool you could get some flying knees right here. I think that'd be awesome. Um, and then there is no swivel at the calf, which is fine. And then there's a hinge going up and I think that is perfect going down. And then we have ankle pivot looking great. So overall, I love this Ant-Man. I'm going to rate it at 10 for you guys. I got to say, if I were to rate this Ant-Man at 10, I'd give it a solid 9. I think that this figure just represents a 9. I think the accessories are great. You know, it could have came with a smaller Ant-Man, but, you know, what are you going to do? Um, you know, you can't really control what they're, you know, putting in these figures and that kind of stuff. Uh, but overall, just a great Ant-Man. And now you're going to have an accurate Civil Civil War team um, if you want that for Captain America or whatnot. But pretty cool Ant-Man, guys. I love this. Uh, I highly recommend this one. Um, I highly recommend this Ant-Man figure. Very great. I got it off of Amazon. I know you can get them at GameStop or whatnot. Um, but I love it. Can't wait to get more on the set and build the Cool City. That's it for this video review, guys. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Superhero Brothers, out.